We didn't dare leave it outside any longer, lest the angry Nebraska frost attack it in the early morning hours of silent darkness. Something worth mentioning here. When I say we, I actually mean my wife. I may help drag all the thousand pound plants inside and outside twice a year, but it's only out of guilt prevention. I know that if Kelly were to move them by herself <clears throat> and blow out her back, she would smile, tell me it wasn't my fault, call to her phone, and then call her own ambulance. <laughs> this story per se is not about my military experience, but the strength that I drew from that experience when this happened. And there she is, the river already lapping and lashing against the bottom of the railroad bridge to my right with no space between metal and water. My heart leaps into my throat as I lay the pedal of my car to the floor, crossing over the bridge and hoping it holds. And our front door, less than 20 feet from the other side of the temporary divide, dry and untouched. Maybe we'll go for good the next time, or maybe we'll hold stubborn and stay. And maybe we won't have a choice. Um, I would like to specifically thank those veterans in the, the audience tonight from Vietnam. His stride will lengthen again as he sheds the pain of this world, like he shed in the mud of Korea long ago. A hero, worthy of being remembered. Always, during this weekend, I speak Garrison's name out loud. He walked through the halls of Lincoln High, before he walked through West Point, before becoming a ranger who walked through Iraq. How I wish my friend had walked out of that sandy hell. I speak of him. I remember. December 30th is a day of mourning for some. California, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Colorado, and Nevada. Spoils of the Mexican-American War. If you had a chance to ask him where he was from, my father would proudly state San Jose, California. Although San Nicolas de Ibarra, Jalisco, Mexico is his real home. His father was from Jalisco, his mother from Spain. He concealed his true name and by default mine. He turned it into something alien and unintelligible. This denies his roots and heritage. Road on the road, Cantum to Dacto. Riders crowded in an open air bus, their hands on faces as silence in parentheses, demarcating mouths that yearn to home. His peasant hat, a resting cone on QL14, lies there lonesome, a bullet torn hole, gaping. I touch a hand that's lost the warm and gently pull an arm out from her grasp. In freeze frame time, I declared you dead as Mama San cried, a lonely, tearful, Requiem. Let me wrap up this portion of the program with a few words, not about the book, but about the people who wrote it, who really are this anthology. I've had the privilege to spend the past five years working with, sharing with, laughing, crying with an unbelievable group of writers who make up the Warrior Writers of Nebraska. This is a very, very special group of people who become almost like family. Thank you very much.